Hey guys, what's going on? It's Red Bull Tanker. This is Operation Reforger, turn one for the Soviet Union. So the game is going to start. Um, so with 1951, it does start with two script, quote unquote, scripted battles before the Soviets begin their turn, and that'll be here in Berlin. Um, the Soviets are attacking the Berlin, um, the Berlin Occupation Force under the United States. And then also, the war in Korea will get wrapped up. And then once that is done, then the Soviets will take their turn. But so, um, what we will do is I will, um, when I do part two of the video, then I will show you kind of how all that might have gone. Or, well, yeah, it, it's whatever. So over here on the battle board, I do have the two battles set up. So the ones up front are the, um, oops. So the ones up front are, is the battle for Berlin. And then the ones in the back are the battle for uh, Korea. Other attacks that I'm going, so purchases. We're going to roll for diplomacy to try and flip Turkey. We need, we need at least one six to do it. I'm sure the one of the Allied members is going to try and block us, so we'll see how that goes. We're buying six mechanized infantry. Um, we are buying two airborne and a transport. And with technology, this game it's going to work just like um, the Global War games, where um, for every major industrial complex you get, you get one dice for technology. So for that. The first two tech that we're going to, that I'm going to roll, and I mean, I'll roll the tech with the the, the other players, but we're going to try and go for a uh, stage. Uh, we're going to work it in stages, so we're going to try and go for advanced submarines and improved research and defense. Try and get those to stage one. Um, attacks. We'll come back to Europe. First, we're going to send this lone submarine to attack the Commonwealth off of Canada and see if we can at least stop part of the Allied forces from making their way to Europe. Um, let's see here. Oh, I've forgotten an attack. Um, I do plan to send um, these subs down. I'm going to send two subs down here to 111 to um, try and kill off those... Um, that uh, British DD and British transport. And I'm going to send another two down into 111 to try and fight that, the NATO fleet there. We're going to attack into southern Germany and potentially even attack into West Germany. We're going to take our forces in Karelia and um, Leningrad and we're going to pincer Norway, try and take that. And then finally coming over to the Pacific, the Russian Pacific Squadron with its limited air force are going to come in and attempt to attack the American fleet around Japan. We're not certain we'll win. Our goal here basically is to at least set up for China to come in and try for a land invasion against Japan. So... That is the first part of the game, or that is the part one of the Soviets' turn. So we'll be back shortly with how everything went. All right, so we're back with the results of the turn. We'll kind of go over everything kind of one by one now. So um, for the scripted battles, we obviously took Berlin, and China took Korea. So that's good for them. Um, kind of go over the battle, other battles. So for 106, we took on that destroyer and transport and won. For 111, we took on that destroyer and won. We beat NATO and Norway. We kicked the United States out of southern Germany. We uh, flipped Turkey. So now we own the Turkish Strait, so that's good for us. And then out in the Pacific, it was a disastrous battle around Japan. So casualties at the end of our turn, 
So we lost two infantry, two tanks, a sub, two destroyers and a cruiser. China lost an infantry in Korea. NATO lost two infantry and a fighter in Norway. The United States mm, kind of lost big, but that's not really a surprise right now. That's uh, four infantry, two artillery, three tanks, an AA gun, and a tactical. The United Kingdom lost a destroyer transport, and the Commonwealth lost a destroyer transport. Okay, non-combats. This is where things are going to get a little long for a minute. The U.S. was able to retreat some of its forces out of the southern Germany battle into western Germany. Okay, so now we've got to try and clean this up a little bit. So we'll start non-combat over here in the Atlantic. So what we'll do is we'll take these two subs down to 112 to reinforce that. And then... We'll take our two subs up north and go one, two, three. They'll come down and join here in 112. Build up a fleet there. Okay, in Europe itself. Um, so these two tacks will go back to Slovakia, Hungary. Um... The jet and fighter from the Berlin battle will go back to Poland. Now this is where things are going to get a little tricky. Okay, so non-combat. So all the forces in Poland are going to come in to Berlin. I'll have to clean this up later. Um... Then for because we have the land in a newly occupied territory, this fighter was not part of any combat. It'll come into southern Germany. These three planes in Poland were also not part of any combat, so they will come in and land in Germany. I'm going to have to create a special marker for this, I think. So then these two went back to Poland. Uh, let's see here. Oh, whoops. Oh, I made a mistake. One of these transports was not supposed to go. Shoot. No, it was my mistake. I accidentally moved it on the combat. I'm not taking it back. That was my fault. Okay, so nothing coming out of Karelia. Bring it over here. Whoops. Dang it. Okay. From the Baltic states, these units are coming into Warsaw. This tank and mobile artillery will go two spaces into Berlin. This infantry in East Poland will come to Poland. The artillery in Romania will move up to Slovakia. Our two troops in Bulgaria will reinforce Albania. we got to keep NATO out there. Um, our tank in the Ukraine will go 1-2 to Romania. The infantry will come to Bessarabia. And then these two tanks will come to Poland as well. Um, let's see here. Coming now more towards the southern part of Russia. I think what we'll do is we will help reinforce Turkey. We will take that mechanized force to the Ukraine. Um, we'll leave the AA gun. This jet will go five... Two, let's see here. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three. No, I'll drop this jet in West Germany. And then this fighter. I'll bring it. I'll keep it in Romania. In case they try to um, bomb. Well, and actually, I'm going to bring the two tacticals from the Southern Germany battle. I'm going to put them in Romania as well. I don't Hope you guys... Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little 
A little in confusion today. I do apologize for that. Oh, crap. All right, so from Moscow, see, I'm going to take... I'm going to take one of my tanks and one of the infantry. Jeez. Sorry, guys, my dogs are down here. I'm going to take a tank and an infantry along the Trans-Siberian Railroad and drop them in and drop those in Amur. Okay, um, next, let's see, um, the ground force, let's see, the ground forces in Kazakhstan, I'll bring them over to the Caucasus, the strategic bomber in Stalingrad will go, I'll send him to Romania, um, up north here, uh, still from Moscow. Let's see, I can go six. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll take my airborne troops. I'm gonna bring my airborne troops from Moscow. They can go six spaces. And I'm going to use them to help reinforce uh, Peking. Bring them there to reinforce Peking. Let's see. And then we'll keep moving our ground forces forward. The infantry and artillery will go to Smolensk. The tanks and them will go to Belarus. The anti-aircraft gun will stay. The jet, let's see, he can go five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. I'm actually gonna bring him into China to Chahar. And then my atomic bomber. Where do I want to send him? I'll bring him. I don't want him too close to the front. I will at least for now bring him to the Ukraine. Okay, that should be all my non-combat. So then my deployment. Whoops. I'm going to deploy three mech in Romania. Three mech in Poland. And then I'm going to deploy two airborne and an air transport in Amur. Oh, and then for technology, I did not get advanced submarines, but I did advance to stage one on advanced R&D. So got that going for us. So that is the end of our turn. We collected a solid 60. We didn't get any bonuses this turn, but we got 60 and we saved three. So we'll have 63 for next turn. So that, so... So that is the end of turn one for Operation Reforger. This is for the Soviets. Um, we'll uh, catch you guys on the next go around for turn two. So until then, guys, take care.